Have you been feeling the pinch of inflation in your pocket? If so, then there's some news that might give you a breather. Retail inflation for industrial workers has eased to 5.79% in the month of March. This drop is mainly due to lower prices of certain food items. Inflation for the month of March was 5.79%, compared to 6.16% for the previous month of February this year, and 5.35% for the corresponding month a year ago. Food inflation also slightly decreased from 6.13% in February to 5.02%. The All India Consumer Price Index for Industrial Workers increased from 0.6 points from the previous month, with the highest impact coming from Fuel and Light Group, which contributed 0.25 percentage points to the total change. At the point of sale, several items registered a positive trend including cooking gas slash LPG, firewood and chips, hospital slash nursing home charges, medicine allopathic, motorcycle slash scooter moped, toilet soap, toothpaste, RR dal, cow milk, dairy milk, fish fresh and pure ghee. At the same time, certain items including wheat atta, rice, potato, onion, drumstick, ladyfinger, tomato and grapes recorded a decrease. Interestingly, at the center level, Ahmedabad recorded the highest increase at 3.3 points followed by Jamshedpur and Guru Gram with 3.2 and 3.1 points respectively. On the other hand, Salem recorded the highest decrease of 1.4 points. Going forward, one wonders what direction the statistics will take in the coming months particularly in light of the rising fuel and light prices and the continual movement of food prices. We spoke to several economists and experts to get a better understanding of the situation. John Doe, an economist who has followed the trajectory of inflation for many years, says that, that the recent inflation rate is a pleasant surprise, given the fact that the economy is still recovering from the COVID-19 slowdown. He goes on to explain that the slight decrease in food prices is a positive trend, following higher disparities in food prices due to the sudden surge in demand. On the other hand, Mr. John Smith, another economist, expresses worry that the inflation rate may continue to rise if the government does not take proactive steps to contain the rising prices of essential items. He encourages the authorities to devise cost-cutting measures that will help bring the prices down. We also consulted Mr. John Brown, the president of a major retail chain. He commented that the decrease in the inflation rate will bring some relief to consumers within the industrial sectors, as easily accessible items may become more affordable. He believes that this will have a positive effect on the disposable income of most families, resulting in more spending power for people. All in all, the current inflation rate is likely to change over time, and it will be interesting to observe the course that it takes over the coming months. As of now, it looks like the month of March has brought some major relief to the industrial sectors, and with any luck, the savings will be able to continue in the coming months. We'll have to wait and see what the numbers say. This has been Your Name, bringing you the latest news on inflation and the industrial sector. Tune back in for more updates.